Welcome to Runtime, your finger on the pulse of the software world. I'm Lainey Brown. And I'm Luke Massey. Welcome to our show. This week's episode is the third in our podcasting series, and we're going to be talking about how to make your own podcast. Yes. It's going to be great. Fun. And uh, I guess Lainey is going to tell us how it all works, right? Yes. First, we're going to start off with what we need. Okay. Cheap method. You need Goldwave. Shareware, it's free on the internet. Get it. Okay. And need a cheap microphone. A cheap microphone. A cheap microphone. This is an example of a cheap microphone. And that was about what, ten bucks? Ten bucks. Yeah. yeah. Alright. So Expensive. you can get into this for ten dollars. Yeah. Well, it, it adds up a little bit more, but we'll get to that part. Later. Oh, okay. Alright. Expensive method. Okay. And gold wave again. Free shareware. Mix board. Okay. And how much was the mix board? Mixing boards around thirty dollars. Thirty bucks. That's not yeah. too bad. A mixing board and a better microphone. Ooh, better microphone with and a stand, because you need your hands free. Okay. To do the mixing board. Cool. All and right. if you if you're gonna have more than one person, you'd probably want more than one mic, right? Yeah. Okay. And then we have an audio patch cable with converter. And that goes into the mixing board and the computer, right? We have. Lots. That's a lot of converters. I don't. Converters. You just need one, really. Yeah. Okay. I, say, I hope we don't need that many. It'd just be weird. So we've got all that good stuff. Okay. All right. I'm gonna plug everything in. Get everything so where it's, you know, it's working. Mm-hmm. And then uh, you do. Get on the internet. Open up your Gold Wave. Okay. Go to new file. And uh, record your podcast. Okay. We're doing the ninja song or push record. Okay. Okay. Go. All right. Push record. All right. Hey. Ready? I, I am ninja. ninja you are ninja. ninja we are ninja. ninja poo. Too. I am ninja. You is ninja. ninja. And I believe that you can poo like too. too. Yeah. Stop. I look forward to podcasting soon. I already hit stop. All right. And then go up to edit. Okay. Hit trim, and that'll cut down all the time that you didn't use recording. All right. And uh, after you've got that all taken care of, you need to get rid of the background noise. So that's going to look like a, a fuzzy line in between where all the spikes are. Okay. So, so yeah. A little, little fuzzy line. A little fuzzy line. You can listen to it if you need to to make sure that there's nothing on there that you need. Okay. There's not going to be because it's a solid fuzzy line. Okay. All right. So highlight what you need. Okay. Hit Control C for copy. Hit Control A for select all, so it does it for the whole thing. All right. And uh, go up to Effects, Filter, Noise Reduction. Then hit uh, Select from Clipboard. That's what you just copied and selected. Okay. And then hit OK. And then magically it appears, and it's one skinny line. You got all your background noise gone. And it sounds really professional and great. So it takes out like all the hissing and yeah, the little hums <laughs> and things that you have going in the background. And someone coughing in the background and probably don't want to hear that either. Right. Not very professional. No. Yeah. So you fake it. It's professional now. <laughs> all right. And make sure you want to hear everything because sometimes the noise and the volume is not going to be, you know, someone's a little bit uh, quieter than the other person. Right. So you go to effects, go to volume, maximize volume, and then save. Okay. Save it as an MP3. Because if you don't save it as an MP3, you're not going to be able to hear it like on your iPod. Right. Because yeah. it's got to be in an MP3 format. Want to play it on format. iPod. Definitely useful. All right. Cool. And, uh, okay, so we've got our MP3. That's pre-recording. Mm -hmm. Now, how do we get this onto the Internet? Now, get on the Internet. That's okay. always important, kids. Get on the, on the Internet. Got to have the Internet access. All right. You need a blogger account. You can get one at blogger.com. It's free. Okay. A web hosting account. Most of the time, your uh, server or your networker will have uh, a hosting, a, you know, web hosting account that goes along with it. You just have to call and find out. Right. Most people don't know about that. But that's they, like... They try to keep it a secret. It's around $5 a month. And you need a FeedBurner account at FeedBurner.com. FeedBurner. Okay. Very cool. Very important. What's FeedBurner? FeedBurner. FeedBurner takes all your podcast URLs and uniforms them so that all the podcatchers can read it. 
because there's some RSS feeds and atoms and stuff like that that some podcatchers can't read. So FeedBurner takes them, formats it, and everything's great. Cool. Very awesome. You need FeedBurner, FeedBurner is great. You need it because, like, if you don't, like, monkey porn stars will fly out your butt and then take advantage of you. Okay, well, definitely <laughs> want to use FeedBurner then. Yeah. Don't need the monkey porn stars. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yeah, how do we do this? All right. Take your MP3, MP3 file that you just created and uh, you put it in your hosting account. Okay. All right, then go and create your uh, blogger account. <clears throat> Log in. Okay, make a new blog. And just push the new new blog button. Go big. I think it's red. And it should, be, should be down at the bottom of the screen. Oh, yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah, red button. That's great. Okay. All right. Pick your subdomain domain name. We're going to use uh, Laney's underscore badass underscore podcast dot blogspot dot com. All right. And that's automatically added, right? The dot blog stop, blogspot dot com. Yeah. Yeah. Good. And then, okay. okay. So that's, that's easy right. then. Go to settings. Okay. Go to format or formatting and click yes. It's going to be a little show uh, show link field. Show link click, field. click yes. So we want to set that to yes. Show link field. That will create the field on your blog to where your podcast can then there be attached and listened to. Like an enclosure tag? Yeah, enclosure tag. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I gotta have those. Okay. Okay. And then, then what do you do? Go to your feed burner account, set it up, and then there'll be a uh, use the URL for um in this case, again, we're going to be using the uh, Laney's Badass, you know, the HTTP semicolon forward slash forward slash Laney's underscore badass, blah, 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 blah. And at the end, we'll be added uh, forward slash Adam dot XML. Okay. And this is uh, going to be available on the show notes for people who need to see this to understand what we're talking about. It's a little complicated. Need the visuals. So go to pottedmeat.com forward slash runtime. You can read our show notes and see exactly how to do this. Go back to the blogger, okay, back add blogger. your new post um, in your uh, new blog. Okay. Type in the URL and the MP3 file that you, it's going to be in the little link. It's right underneath the title okay. uh, where you put everything. This is where we uploaded the MP3 file. Yeah. Okay. Paste in your show notes uh, into the, like, the body section. Okay. You know, Laney's Badass Show. Type in the title of the episode, Badass Show. Yeah. All right. And then hit post. All right, Hooray. you're a podcaster. Awesome. Ready for podcasting. Okay, well, we're going to be back in just a minute. We've got some uh, news coming up for you, a little information, and uh, we're going to be back so don't go anywhere. Scientists discover cure for cancer. A national cable provider thinks you're a spammer. Mexico faces a week of intense violence in the capital, and MPAA steals a movie. Hi, I'm Mark Hopkins, and you're watching Potted Meat. Genetically altered immune cells wiped out tumors in two men with a deadly form of skin cancer and kept the patient's disease free for at least 18 months, U.S. scientists said on Thursday. The findings were from the National Cancer Institute, and they were welcomed as evidence that cancer patients can be successfully treated with gene therapy, a troubled field that has been hindered by safety concerns. TechDirt reports that rather than blocking inbound email as spam, Cox Communications is now blocking outbound email as spam. Cox systems do not inform users that the emails that they have sent are gone, never to be delivered. Cox Communication refuses to comment on the new policy shift. Riot police attack dogs and steel barriers sealed off Mexico's Congress for kilometers last week as protesters threatened to stop President Vicente Fox from delivering his State of the Nation address. A teacher strike has exploded into anarchy in the southern city of Oaxaca, the violence casting a cloud over the government. And there is still no official word on who will be the next president nearly two months after the elections. The protests are part of an ongoing anger over alleged dirty tricks in the July 2nd election. And finally, the MPAA defines stealing a movie as watching a movie without paying for it. TechDirt and Salon.com both report that by the MPAA's own standard of stealing, they have stolen the movie, This Film Is Not Yet Rated, to review amongst the staff of their organization. The movie reveals that the inner workings of the MPAA's secretive ratings board the MPAA gave the movie an NC-17 rating, effectively barring it from wide theatrical release in American theaters. For more news and information, head on over to PottedMeat.com. I'm Mark Hopkins, and you're watching Potted Meat.
And we're back. Right. Yay. It's time for news and views. <laughs> Actually, it's time for letters from the viewers, but no one sent us any mail this week. What the hell, guys? Come on. Run time at poddedmeat.com. Do it now. Go. Send mail. We'll wait. Not that long. Ha. Huh. Okay. All right. News. Welcome to the B-list, Pluto. <laughs> What's this all about, Lena? All right. Supposedly, Pluto is no longer a planet. Like, scientists have said that uh, it doesn't measure up to the other planetary characteristics. Okay. So it's like, now everybody, children and adults both, have to relearn the planetary system and all those little, whatever they're called, you know, like... Planets? Well, those planets, too. Oh, you mean the like little, the little... Like the uh, things. Yeah, the many very earnest men journey, whatever, the ones I can't remember yeah, the anyway. Yeah, gone. Can't use a P anymore. Oh, well. You could whisper it. And uh, actually, what, what happened is Pluto didn't explode. It didn't get hit by an asteroid or shrink. Scientists just redefined what makes a planet. So I really don't Pluto's see how no somebody... Pluto's planet. I don't see how someone can actually like, say, hey, you're not a planet anymore. Well, I think, I think it was easier. They decided it was easier just to go ahead and pop Pluto off all the models rather than adding those two other random planets that are out there. Well, they're uh, not planets either. Well, they're about the size of Pluto, but yeah, they're not planets according to the classification, so they don't have to add them onto the models. Just pull Pluto off and you're ready to go. Yeah, it's not fair. Not fair. Speaking of not fair, Massachusetts opts for Microsoft? What? Eh. Massachusetts, uh, a couple years ago, was talking about switching all of their government systems to using the Open Office Word Processor. Mm -hmm. So all of the state documents would be in an open format, anyone can access for free. And, you know, the specifications for this format are well known, it's well published and documented. And, you know, 30 years in the future, it'll be easier to figure out how to read these documents. Right. But instead of doing that, they decided to go with Microsoft Word, which you have to pay $300 for, at least. And um, we'll be very lucky if Microsoft Word 2035 can read the current word documents. <laughs> Way to go for selling out, Massachusetts. Good job, Massachusetts. Then again, it will be easier for government officials to cover up murder since no one can read the documents. <clears throat> Ooh, and Dell pulls out of MP3 player market. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> All right, and let's see. This says Dell's last MP3 player, the DJ Diddy, has vanished from their online catalog. Meaning that electronics manufacturer, the, meaning that the electronics manufacturer has exited that market. I like that name, DJ Diddy. DJ Diddy, it's not fun, but it really wasn't special. It's just like all the other MP3 players, and of course the iPod is prettier. And I never had. They one. just couldn't compete. I just like saying Diddy. I I had an iPod. <laughs> now it's. It's clean. It's clean, but it doesn't work. Huh. Yeah. But no one really cares about that anyway. I mean, yeah. who actually owned a DJ Diddy? Go ahead and start using it as a paperweight. Yep. No, it'll still work if you have one. You just yeah, can't just get a new forget one. Forget about it. Just use it as a paperweight. <laughs> I, we don't care anymore. Okay. Paperweights. Moving on. A third way has been found to get the RIAA to drop lawsuits again against you. Now, if, if you remember, in our other shows, we mentioned two other ways that you can get out of this. One is to uh, claim that an IP address is not a real person. Right. So they can't pin it on you. It's the IP address. Right. They can't pin. They, they can't prove that you are the person doing it. And the second way, my favorite, is you got to die. Right. If, if you if you die, they will eventually, out of respect for the family, re release a public statement saying okay. how nice they are and they be and, like, and, oh, you died. Canceling the lawsuit since the person's dead. Uh, we're sorry. Well, this this the third way is to uh, accuse them of extortion. Hmm. And uh, a lady did that. It says just after, just a day after one person accused of file sharing filed a response that compared their tactics and their means, the RIAA in this case, their tactics to extortion, while also pointing out she had no clue how to download music or what Kazaya is, the RIAA has dropped the case. Hmm. Now, of course, there's a possibility that it's just because she couldn't possibly have downloaded anything because she doesn't know how. I think she's just saying that she's stupid. But She's not saying she's stupid. She just happens to not know how to download music. We have to be stupid to not know how. how. <laughs> That's very rude. Thank you. <laughs> anyway. I'm biased. 
I hate everybody equally. Well, it, it might have been because she didn't know how to download the music, so they couldn't. Yeah, obviously, she couldn't have done it. Anyway, it worked for part. her. Right, not making a point. Uh, they they <coughs> dropped the case very quickly, so it could very well have been the extortion argument. And there's actually a couple other cases pending that accuse the RIA of racketeering. Mm, we'll stay and in tune for those. Yeah, we'll find out how that's going. Yeah. It's time for... Buzzkill! 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 Buzz 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 cool. Yeah, and uh, what's, what's our word? We get... English. English? English? English. I think it's English. It's I am spelled I-M-G-L-I-S-H. Like, like play, play off of uh, English. Right, I am the first... Better I am stand for instant messaging. And this was invented by Prince in 1978. <laughs> I and, love uh, that guy. The, the uh, English is the secret and, and evolving language of instant messaging. A collection of abbreviations, acronyms, and shorthand that allows IMers to say whole sentences in three to five letters. And it also helps keep their parents and employers in the dark about what they're saying. Are uh, you CM ducks? Them are not ducks. M2R ducks, CMEBD wings. LIB, SAR ducks. OMG ponies. ROFL MFAO. <laughs> LOL. LOL. Well, that's about all the time we've got for today. Be sure and email us at runtimepodomy.com. Yes. And we might read your email on air. In fact, we probably will. will. Just, just because we love you and want to touch your stuff. And Unless there's a lot of email. We did get a lot of email the other week. And other we can week. only read a couple, but no one emailed us this week, so email us. It's because you suck. And um, also visit the website www.poddedmeat.com. P O D D E D M E A T. And? And we have a MySpace my now. Space. We're just like all the other losers. Yes, we are MySpace whores. <laughs> www.myspace.com forward slash P M runtime. Yes. And go, go add us to your friends list because we need friends. We like friends. All right. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Next week, it's going to be very exciting. We're going to be talking about... Nothing to do with podcasting. Nothing to do with podcasting. It's an instant messaging program that lets you talk and encrypt your conversations so good that an essay can't even read them. <laughs> so don't miss that. I'm Luke Massey. I'm Lady Brown. BBL, bitches. TTYL. <laughs>